Hey guys, so I'm back with another video once again, and it is Create This Book episode 4 or 5, I'm not 100% sure. As you can see, we are doing the prompt Create Time Decoration, where you had to decorate the page in 10 minutes. Also, um, I haven't been posting for like 3 weeks, and I'm sorry about that, it's just that my school has begun, and I've been really busy with all the homework at home and then on the weekend you know every weekend i just i've just been editing and drawing in this book section by section and that's how i'm posting videos now so it's going to be really less compared to you know summer vacation where i would post like two videos a week easily it's much more harder now <laughs> but it's fine i guess it's a fun activity to do to just be free with these videos okay so I am sketching out a waterfall and this is the thing that I drew in the 10 minute li limit. Um, but I outlined it and colored it with the markers without a time limit. And I guess I kind of followed the prompt and I kind of just cheated, but I think it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's my book. It's, it's, it's my art book now. So I can do what I want with it, can't I? Basically, <laughs> but you know, the point of these books are to follow the prompts. Sometimes if you want to, you don't need to exactly follow the prompt. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I think this waterfall sketch was decentish enough. And I think I did good enough for 10 minutes. And now it was time to outline it with my beautiful needlepoint fine liner. Um, yeah. This was a really fun, simple, easy page to do, actually. It didn't take me that long compared to all of my other pages, obviously. It just took me around half an hour. Um, so that's wonderful. Why do I keep clapping when I do voiceovers? I'm always just like in the background. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. I'm not the best at drawing like landscapes and I want to get better at that. Um, but you know, it's, it was my first time drawing a waterfall, and I like it, how it came out, I guess. Um, next, I started coloring this with markers. Um, I'm trying to be avoiding markers in this book, and I just don't use markers that often for coloring anyways. I don't know, I just feel like markers are really annoying. Maybe it's the brand I have, maybe it's just me. Because, I mean, my markers are nice and colorful, they're nice, um, but they're so, like, they're like crayons, they're, like, really smudgy, and you can see every single line you make, it's, it's annoying, <laughs> so I, I did try it out anyways, you know, it was, it was different, I did a lot of, I tried a whole bunch of new things in this overall episode. I didn't, um, film myself coloring in the actual waterfall. I just did that off camera. So I'm gonna just show you guys the end result. Oh, look here, some behind the scenes clips. So yeah, this is how my waterfall time decoration page turned out. I like it, it's different and it's vibrant. Next page I did was the create a music inspired page where you had to turn on some music and, you know, just draw, just chill and draw. And I did that. I just, Put on my lofi hip hop music playlist <laughs> where I just have a whole, whole bunch of music and songs and I just put that on and I started drawing. I'll put the links to the music I usually listen to while drawing slash studying slash in school when we're allowed to listen to music um, in the description box below. Yeah. Uh, so as you can see, I am drawing my character Janet and you guys know Janet if you've been watching my channel. Janet is my OC and she is, she loves music and that's what I thought of when I was listening to music and she's just like, Janet, I could draw her. So I drew her in her epic bedroom with her beautiful patterned paisley um, bed sheets and a guitar, a boom box, a lot of amazing stuff, wonderful. Also, the date. It was, it, what, it was two or three weeks ago. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. Kind of sad. I don't get that much time to film anymore. I'm sorry, guys. You know, it's fine. I feel like I should have drawn 
it being morning, like with a shining sun, since, as you'll see in the next clip, all the colors of her bedroom are very vibrant and bright. And I feel like if I was like keeping this in mind, I I should have kept this in mind more that I was drawing this in the night, so I should have like made the colors more like toned down. But yeah, that's that's fine. <laughs> Also, what's she reading here? I think she's just reading about music or she's just looking at some notes to play on her guitar or something. We need more instruments for Janet to play. She knows how to play the guitar, the piano. I, I wanted to draw a piano, but you know, I feel I felt like a piano is pretty large and also it would be kind of weird to have, I don't know. So I drew a boom box instead of a piano. Here we go. There's the music I was listening to. <laughs> Will I get copyright striked for the thumbnail of that video and stuff being in this video? I don't think so since, you know, I muted the music. Um, and I'll put the link of it in the description anyways, you know. I don't know. I feel like I'm worrying too much about this. <laughs> yeah. Um, as you can see, also, I colored a ton of it off camera. Like, this page is really cool looking now. It's like really vibrant um, and vivid. The window, you know, the part I'm coloring right now, I colored that in rainbow, but then I was just like, it looks a little bit weird. So we colored it in like a solid pink slash neon orange kind of vibing color thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Psst. okay. What am I doing? Just picking a piece sign? <laughs> okay. Do you guys think I got the shading of the guitar right? I colored it in like a dark orange and then it got lighter and lighter. Um, but I was also thinking maybe I should have done brown. I don't know. I didn't try it with brown as well, so I can't really compare it. Yeah. Um, do I have any footage of coloring the boombox? I'm, I don't think so. Yeah, I really like this page. This is like... Everybody in my family's favorite page I've done. I don't know if it's mine. I like the cupcake page I did in the last episode the most. You know, the one with the four-hour cupcakes, Andy Warhol style. Um, but this is probably my second favorite page. I like this page a lot. Here's the end result of this page. I like it. I love it, actually. It's a really nice page. It's really colorful. And it just gives me some really good vibes. <laughs> I love it. Okay, now the next page is the create contrast page. And the reason why I don't have a clip of me filming it is because, well, I might messed up the first time. So I had to like cover the pages up and restart. I am drawing mandelas for this page in the complementary colors, orange and blue. So, you know, one side will have an, an orange mandela and then the background will be blue and then the other side has a dark blue mandela with an orange background good idea huh <laughs> i mean it's decentish i like i i guess it was a pretty good fine page it was it wasn't the best that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> so um i first started doing this with like my you know the fine liners you see me doing it right now but then I was like, you know what, let's just use my needle points. Cause I like tested out with the eraser and it didn't work. I don't even know if anybody knows what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> Do I ever make sense in my videos? I don't think so. I really enjoyed this draw drawing these mandalas. It was really fun to do and it was pretty amazing. Um, yeah, let me skip through to you're drawing the blue one as well, and yeah. Okay, I skipped through a lot there. <laughs> um, now you can see I was then painting the mandala and then on top the blue background for that one. And now, you know, there is the dark blue mandala and then I'm doing an orange background. Now, currently the mandala, the dark blue one, doesn't look that good. It looks really disgusting and really plain and boring, but that got fixed up. <laughs> my, I showed it to my mom and she literally just sketched out on top of it and it made it look much better and the page looked better after that. So 
credit to my mom. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm painting it, painting it, painting it in orange. Guys, what is your favorite set of compl complementary colors? Mine is probably um, red and green. Um, the three sets are, you know, purple ye and yellow, orange and blue, and red and green. I like red and green the most. But I did orange and blue because I don't use orange and blue that often, honestly. Blue is, like, one of my least favorite colors, even though, like... If you didn't know, yellow is the world's least favorite colors with only 5% of people taking it, with only 5% of people having it as a favorite color and then blue is the world's favorite color with 13% of people having it as their favorite color. So, um I'm not part of that 13%. I don't like blue, nor do I like red. Red I just don't like the color red. <laughs> um the colors I do like are I love green. Um I really like purple. Purple's a nice color, um, turquoise, you know, all those colors. Yellow, I really love yellow. I don't get why yellow is so down on that list, like 5% people, what? Um, yellow's my second favorite color, then would be turquoise, I think. Oh no, then would be minty green, and then would be turquoise. <laughs> or you could just call, count all of that into green, because they're all, like, you know, near to green. But if it gets a little bit too blue, then I don't like it. <laughs> I'm weird. Okay. I'm basically done painting this now. Um, yeah. And now let me show you guys the end result. Here's this page now, and I like it. It's nice. It's pretty. Um, yeah, it's, it's amazing, and... <laughs> that's all i have to say for it i guess i like the pretty designs and the mandelas and everything for it okay let's move on to me giving you guys a quick recap of the page is that i did for this okay video. so let's do a quick recap of the pages i have done for this video not that one that's the cupcake one um we did this page which was the page i just did right now then we have the waterfall page. And lastly, we have all the way at the front, the create a music inspired page. And that's all the videos. Um, and that's all the pages for this video, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.